here teaching passing. Um, first thing you got to be concerned with is the feet. Everything is left or right. I don't care if you're passing, setting, doesn't matter. It's got to be left or right. So this footwork works for both of the things that we're going to talk about today. So what she's going to do, she's going to start out. Her right foot is just going to be a little bit in front of her left. Now, if you want to double check it, have her put, have your players put their feet together and put the front, put your um, right foot just halfway up the left foot. Um, your toe area should fit right into the curve of the right foot. So, and then just have them go shoulder width apart to start out. That's pretty comfortable. That's something they can kind of understand. Knees are going to be bent, hips are back. One big thing that you're going to notice with young players is that they're going to want to have their hips come forward every time they do something. You have got to convince them to keep their, head, their hips behind their shoulders. Okay? Um, next thing you're going to want to talk about is the platform. And always use that word because it's a platform. And that's your arms. You want a nice flat surface. The hands, I don't care how this works. I just had two more players come in. I'm probably going to make them do this too, but the hands, it doesn't really matter. The big component is the thumbs. Your thumbs have got to be together. Your thumbs have to be pointed down. Now, if you want to have them make a fist and come together that way, you can do it that way. Some players cup their hands. It honestly does not matter which way you go as long as the thumbs are together, creating that flat surface on your platform. Anytime you pass or set, the other thing you're going to want to think about is having the shoulders come up towards your ears. You're always going to shoulder shrug as you pass the ball, as you set the ball. Okay? And what this is going to look like in practicality, um, Brianna will get down. She's going to take a short little one, two, left, right. She's going to push. The other thing you have to think about, if you want to explain it, tell them that there's a string connecting their hands to their belly button. And if they lift their arms up too high, they're going to rip out their belly button. Okay? That's an easy way for little kids to create that visual in their heads. You want to keep those hands down. The crux of everything comes from the legs and from the shoulders up to the ears. Okay? So that's, that's real easy. Now, how does this progress? All right. So Haley, I'm going to have Miranda stand right here. Haley's just going to toss the ball. You can kind of see this in action. We'll go from this angle and then we'll drag it from the side along the white lines. So you can see it that way too. So she's going to toss. The other thing you have to convince your players is to always move their feet. Just keep tossing. And she's going to call the ball. That's one thing you want to start convincing your young players of early on is to call the ball. Every time they touch the ball, they should call the ball. Now also notice the position of Miranda's chin. She keeps the chin down. The head does not come up. What happens if we start lifting our arms up too high and we start lifting our chin? The ball is going to go way too high. She says lifting her head up. The ball is going to go too high. If the hips come forward too much. She's going to do that again to really accentuate. This is what you're going to see. It's even worse than that. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're going to see. Guarantee you're going to see a lot of that. Okay. What the girls are going to want to do is they're going to want to bring everything straight up. And really there's only two ways that, that ball is going to go. It's either going to go straight up or it's going to go behind them. Because if they do that, they're probably going to be swinging their arms up too. Okay? So what you really want to do is convince them they have to stay down. Everything pushes forward. The only movement you should have in volleyball is back to front. I don't care if you're serving, setting, passing, hitting, blocking. Everything is back to front. There's no side to side, okay? Unless you're digging and then you don't have to worry about that. These are fourth graders. All right. So a few more tosses, just nice and easy. Right. She always moves her feet. You've got to focus on that. Right. Right. She keeps the chin down. Right. She looks up with her eyes. Another thing you can do, you can keep, keep tossing. Another right. thing you can do if you want to double check, is just put your hand out and force them to kind of stay, stay down that way too. Force them to stay below your hands. Those are a couple of different variations you can do. Now, in order to get to this point, there's a couple of things you need to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be down on our left knee. If they don't have knee pads, this is going to hurt. Now, this is an easy, just focusing on the shoulders, the platform, calling the ball, getting that rhythm, from back to front. This is going to force them to keep their hips back more.